carefree, such a beautiful part of our valley. I know, and there is a really cool event. It's called Hidden in the Hills uh, Artist Studio Tour, and uh, Corey is checking it out this morning. Corey, you're with my uh, one of my friends, Lucy, right? I know. We're going to meet your friend Lucy Dickens in just a second, but you're right. This is 22 years and going strong for this uh, Hidden in the Hills Artist's a studio tour, and we're at a beautiful home here, uh, far in the North Valley. And uh, this is just one of many. You'll be meeting about 140 or so artists throughout the last two weekends in November. Guys like this, Joshua Dopp, good to see you again, friend. Uh, boy, let me step aside here so we can just show people one example of your beautiful sure. artwork. Uh, I, ne I would never want to touch it, but it's sure lovely. What's the inspiration for this? Well, nature for sure. Uh, glass uh, does color really well. I think it's a, a beautiful medium to work with and mm -hmm. make things just glow. Uh, so that's what I try to do with the glass. It's you know, beautiful decorative work that people can put in their backyards, homes. And it is it's great. Just lovely. Well, you'll have several pieces to show. I and uh, as Celeste mentioned, we're at the home of her friend, Lucy Dickens. And here she is. The more Lucy Dickenses of the world, uh, the better, we say. Thanks for sharing <laughs> your home with us. And we're in your own studio right now and we're going to see more of your work in a moment but let's head around uh, to your kitchen and meet some of your friends and that's part of the fun of this whole tour right being able to see these lovely homes and uh and see artwork displayed in such beautiful settings yes absolutely so this is the 22nd annual hidden in the hills open studio tour and we have 147 artists with 44 studios, and I have five guest artists here with me. Yeah, let's let's meet them uh, right now. Now, these are the schnogs, uh, uh, Renee, uh, Renee, and uh, Eileen. Uh, Eileen, you're the uh, jeweler in the family. I see Correct. beautiful Thank work. You. No one works in concrete. Give me 20 seconds on this piece. Well, this is white concrete, and in it, I set a peridot. Mm -hmm. And the chain's all handmade. It's the August Jordan birthstone, Silver. you know. It's the August birthstone. Yeah. So. I know my birthstone. <laughs> So uh -huh. it's uh, only a few of us in the country are actually working with it's concrete. It's so beautiful. Well, we're going to see lots of it. And uh, Renee, your glasswork here, lovely. Well done. Thank you. This is, um, these are f all fused glasswork. Mm -hmm. Some of these are um, what call uh, drop ring fuses, which are these pieces down here. Um, they sit in a, in a kiln and heat and... Boy, and form and I respect this uh, ability so much. We'll see a lot of your work as well. And Patty Russell, uh, boy, you're in the jewelry biz as well. Give us a few seconds on it. Well, this piece here is a uh, castle dome turquoise. I, I love working with turquoise. And uh, it's, it's local from Arizona. And um, this piece here is, is actually a garnet that's set in... Boy, you're going to be busy. I hope you walk home empty-handed with everything sold. And finally, uh, what are we looking at here? And we have Elizabeth Cox. She's out of town right now and her wonderful gourd creations. You'll be able to see so much more here at Studio Number 11 on the Hidden in the Hills oh, Tour. Well, we'll give the website out and all the information is on our website as well. So we'll get into Lucy's studio, Celeste, in just a couple of minutes. Oh, here, here. Say hi uh, to Celeste. Give me your ear hole. Aw, hi, oh. Lucy. Hi, Celeste. Hi, so good to see your beautiful face. See the miracle technology? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see more of our artwork soon. Yeah. yeah. You, they have phones. <laughs> you can call her. <laughs> hey, Corey now is up in Carefree. Take us home, Cor. Oh, uh, we will do that, Troy. Uh, in my uh, hands, I hold actually a rubber-tipped brush. You'll see why in a moment. But Lucy Dickens is still with us, and we're in her beautiful home. We just got a couple of seconds. Give us quickly your process. You work in oils. How do you get from zero to painted? Sure. Well, first of all, I'm inspired by something right outside my door or a travel journey. And here, this bunny was in my courtyard, and this is a photo of my front yard. And so I'll often compose multiple photos for the scene, my vision. Mm -hmm. And this is a painting Aww. in progress where Gorgeous. I drop the bunny in. Yeah. And then, of course, I'm changing the, the photo in the background as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you were teaching me how to make cactus uh, needles. Yes. Often I will start uh, the cactus needles by putting thick paint on the edge, and then I'll use this. <gasps> Look how they just, fl they just shoot out. I love this. Right. Hey, if you need a needle man, uh, I'm your man. 
Just leave all the, all the needles to me. I love it. Well, you are so generous to open your home to us, and uh, we've still got your friends over here. Let's go see them. Grab your painting, too. Uh, again, 170 artists uh, will be featured uh, in about 44 different homes throughout Carefree, Cave Creek, North Scottsdale, and uh, they've got their beautiful work in their hands. Thanks for helping us out. Get on the website. All the info's at fox10phoenix.com. Have a great Friday and a great weekend. See you later.